GDP of USA outperforms the ever wondered why some countries are the focal points of innovation and economic growth, while others are struggling for their bread and butter. For instance, the bizarre fact that Africans possesses the world's 90% platinum reservoir, yet its people remain in hard and fast poverty? What exactly makes them stand in that poor division? Is it pure luck? Irrationality? Of them? Or is there some dark reality concealed back there? In this video, we are going to unleash that complex web of factors contributing to this imbalance and the role of America in redefining the world economic landscape. Hold on to your seats and listen up, because you're about to get baffled by upcoming concealed facts you never knew about. The American Dream Pure bliss or jinx? The American dream has been the way to show the rays of hope and opportunity for every individual equally. It is a fact that constant hard work, dedication, and a chunk of luck can elevate someone from humble beginnings to great wealth. However, the real motive of this dream is not as obvious as it appears. For some lucky break foreign individuals, it turned out to be a life-changing decision to leave their homelands and to start a life in America. Many are already halfway through the path of success and such provocative happy endings have incited motivation in those generations, making them rethink their life choices. However, if we keep it apart and cut to the chase, the American dream is no more than a mixed blessing. While it has undoubtedly changed the lives of many newcomers and granted them good fortunes, it has also fed expectations that fall beyond reality. The ideology of attaining wealth through dedication has caused individuals to have limited beliefs while overlooking those structural barriers. Adding to the intrigue, the American dream has actively taken part in the brain drain of several countries. This ultimately turned those native professionals into immigrants, leaving behind their nations with an obvious lack of skilled professionals and intellectual capital. Then guess what? Of course, the persistence of wealth imbalance between countries. In order to comprehend the real culprit behind the constant wealth disparities among countries, we also need to consider the major dark role of the American dream. It might be a blessing for the majority, but it is also a clear way to distract young and skilled minds from their actual broader issues, supporting their own country and making it stand next to the wealthiest nations like America itself. American trade and economic policies, a skeleton in the closet. Trade is the ultimate savior when it comes to the global economy, and America being the top most wealthiest nation has already been influencing this network of international commerce. Hold up, folks, because we are just about to get started. This section will lift the veil from those camouflaged forces playing the world trade game and how America is regulating the world economic landscape through its economic policies. American trade policies are more than just policies. They are the combination of complex negotiations, calculated associations, and economic muscle. The most important yet obvious part of these policies is tariffs. It has the power to change the fate of importing countries and turn them upside down economically once America decides to impose tariffs on them. Pretty crazy, right? Now here's a genuine example of how things work. If America by any chance inflicts tariffs on steel imports, the exporting country will see a decline in job losses and unemployment, while also skyrocketing the costs of USA manufacturers. Sounds like America really knows how to play its dark game. And as we go ahead, you'll be able to discover those illegal-to-know USA facts. Now here's the kicker. America's trade agreements are the key to standing in that wealthiest economic position. The North American Free Trade Agreement (NAFTA) and the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement USMCA, can be considered as significant examples. These two trade agreements redefine trade associations while having both losers and winners. On one hand, they bring in opportunities for American businesses to inflate, and on the other, they successfully bring down the rate of employment in less economical industries. 
it doesn't end here. The way America employs sanctions as a diplomatic gimmick, it can kick the economy's ass real quick. When America puts sanctions on a country, it indirectly barricades its access to international markets, wreaks economic havoc, and in the worst-case scenario, brings poverty and uncertainty. Not to mention, these trade secrets go far beyond the average thinking capacity. The trade policies go hand-in-hand -hand with complex negotiations and even worse, power dynamics. Considering America's economic position, it already has a strong spot at the negotiation table, thus closing a favorable deal every time and everywhere. Keeping everything aside, this inevitable power can also safeguard domestic industries while potentially sacrificing global economic equality. Technology Giants and Global Interval The Power of Silicon Valley Silicon Valley is settled in the center of California, acting as a powerhouse of technological revolution, meaning that Silicon Valley connects with some of the most powerful tech titans like Google, Amazon, Apple, and Facebook. Here, we are going to unleash how this technology magnates boom around the world, bringing about the wealth imbalance across the nations. The innovative and never-seen-before gadgets emerging from this tech hub have completely changed the game of tech globally, from smartphones and social apps to e-commerce and artificial intelligence. The birth of these innovations has given rise to enormous economic growth in the United States of America. Everything aside, this technology revolution only sits in the heart of America when it should be equally distributed. Apart from gathering tremendous economic growth, Silicon Valley also stockpiles loads of unparalleled power. Now hear this one. The introduction of such platforms holds the capacity to revamp economies and public dialogue, and even affect the elections in many nations. In such situations, we only get left with a question about who is in charge of controlling information and how it influences world economic imbalances. We can't ignore the fact that, this tech remodeling is now a significant feature to stand out in the 21st century. While many countries have already adopted digital technologies to upgrade their economies, some still grapple to keep up with the pace. Moreover, internet access and the high level of digital skills in a country become the bridge between nothing and the global digital economy. Unsurprisingly, as a result, countries with little to no access to these technologies fall behind, thus intensifying the world economic gap. And by the same token, intellectual property rights and data ownership are the real deal issues that might become heated as well. Who do you think will win those heated debates? Of course, your one and only tech giants of Silicon Valley. When these companies end up dominating every controversial conversation, they successfully expand those imbalances. Wealth imbalances. The American-driven digital technology takes up a great deal of questions. For instance, if this so-called digital technology is evenly dispensed, or it remains untouched, posed in the secured glass of Silicon Valley. Foreign and Success Aid, Modeling World Economic Imbalances, what do you know about foreign aid? It might only appear generous to you, but it's way more than that. It is a source of achieving influence and diplomacy. America is one of the biggest donors and is able to cultivate advanced strategic interests, improve associations, and even promote its economic values globally. And sometimes this strategic advancement blocks out the significant goal, the provision of funds to struggling countries. For instance, conditional aid becomes available with some requirements and thus works as a doubtful advantage. While unconditional aid doesn't have any requirements or so, but then the aid might get used for corruption or other illegal purposes. Now here's the real deal. Foreign aid isn't a piece of cake. It can easily lock a nation into debt and dependency. When aid is provided to a nation, its economic condition worsens with the health and education sector's assets going forth. That's it for today. As we took a deep dive into those eye-opening, intricate reasons for global wealth imbalance and the USA's obvious role, we also unveiled the cloaked world shaped by policies, innovations, and technology. 
From the hypnosis of the American dream to unrealistic foreign aid policies, we already know the culprit behind these wealth variances. If you learned something from this video, give this video a like and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to follow up with more content coming ahead. Content coming ahead.